<laughs> my name is Abdul Abdullah, and for Basil Sellers, I'm making a two-part work, uh, which is made up of an embroidery and a batik painting, and it, they're both portraits. One is of my hero, Muhammad Ali, and the other portrait is of a man called William F. Buckley. The interview in 1968, William F. Buckley and Muhammad Ali was a, almost a turning point for Muhammad Ali. It's a little bit past the turning point, but it's the first time he'd come on to uh, national television in America and explained why he wasn't participating in the Vietnam War. The interview resonates with me because I think it's a, a repeating pattern that is become very prevalent since 9-11 in Australia, the UK, Western Europe and in America. And I find myself uh, as a Muslim growing up in this country on the other side of things. Um, if you open up a newspaper or turn on the television, yeah, you can't help but feel that you're being represented as a bad guy. I use my art um, to educate but also challenge people's perception and what they understand a Muslim to be. Being a, a young Muslim in Australia at the moment is a precarious position. There's never been really this many political parties that don't want me around. Um, and I'm trying to build bridges uh, and to demonstrate alternative ways of, of looking at things and approaching things. I created the work by spending a little bit of time in Indonesia uh, designing a few different images. And then I worked with some embroiderers that are in Eko Negroho's studio. Uh, I had access to them. He gave me permission to work with them and we went off a painting and that was developed into an embroidery. Some of the benefits of being selected as a finalist is being included in a, a group of artists that I've always admired. I've known all the names and I know their practices and to be included in that group, um, for lack of a better word, it's, it's very satisfying. <laughs>